I'm turning to the lakeshore now. We're checking on conditions in Muskegon. Many in that area saw a glaze of freezing rain overnight on top of the snow that had already fallen. Third on your side's Charlie Tinker is live for us this morning. Charlie, how's it looking right now? Uh, well, kind of, kind of just as uh, Sam described, Jay, good morning to you guys. Uh, a light mist coming down uh, occasionally, maybe some, some light flurries mixed in there. It's a little hard to tell. It's just so fine. I want you to get a look at the texture of this snow here. This uh, hard pack that's on the ground. You can't even really budge it if you just touch it. You've really got to hit it with some force, and that's the situation. Uh, just, just impacted by, by uh, just wave after wave of this changing precipitation. It's a bit like rock candy is, I guess, the best way I can kind of describe it. And if you're getting up this morning, this is what you're going to be shoveling. So you're going to want to be taking it easy. Uh, I'm sure a lot of folks are waking up and wanting to treat uh, some of those walkways, their driveways as well, before it becomes more of an issue later. That is also an issue on the roads at this moment. Dispatch uh, told me yesterday they were already already dealing with some slide offs around four or five that were active uh, right around six o'clock yesterday evening. It is a very different situation, however, from the one you actually went to bed to. So as you're waking up, as you're heading out the door, if you do have to go to work, for instance, this morning, you are going to want to take it easy. Take it nice and slow. Be aware of the fact that conditions could change from literally mile to mile, and you're going to want to make sure you move over for any first responders and give them plenty of space to do their jobs this morning. Live in Muskegon, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.